Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing part two of my Matt switch to Linux and I am on elementary OS. For those who haven't seen part one, the link will be in the eye in the top right corner. Go check that out. But we're going to get right into it and I'm going to give you some input on what I did to change things, what I think about the OS, and maybe this might be the only episode of elementary OS and I might actually switch to a new one. But We'll figure that out throughout the video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So as you can tell, elementary OS, same thing that I went over in the first episode. Again, if you haven't seen the first episode, I highly recommend you check it out in the eye in the top right corner. But really, I had some key issues last time with elementary OS. One, one of the big issues I had was getting Steam to work. And well, I got Steam to work. So as you can tell, I have Steam working. Everything's updated. Steam will launch properly. See, as you can tell, Steam is working properly. And that, that that's awesome. I got Steam to work. I installed a couple titles and it worked very well. So yes, I had to install it through the terminal. That was the main issue. Using the software center really was not the best option for any of this at all. The, so the terminal is the best way to install software and I learned that. You have to use terminal. If you're gonna use Linux, you have to use the terminal and that really is something that is a learning curve but I really think it'd be a great thing to learn. So I looked up a couple commands on how to install Steam and a couple other software which I'll definitely show and I'll go over some of the issues I've had. So I did have a bunch of driver issues, which in the comments, a lot of people said that I should research them. So I did, and I found out that the Steam issue, yes, there was just a wrong install. There was another install I could go get for Steam, which I went out and did, as you can tell, and it works properly. So that is an awesome thing for elementary OS. Another thing people were talking about, everyone in the comment section was referring to this OS being really unstable. My take on it is the OS isn't unstable. It's the actual like app interface. Some of the apps itself just don't work very well. The OS itself is very stable. It works great. I like the way it looks. I like the way you can move around and everything. I've been over this many times. Um, it's an awesome operating system. I like the operating system as a whole. It just has some little quirks that I'm not totally used to yet. And I know there were some people in the comments in the other video who did say that they have run an elementary OS and haven't really had any issues and they actually like it. So props to you. Um, and thank you all a ton for the comments you left on that one video because it really did help me find stuff to install and try differently. And it really does help. This is an awesome little community that we can grow our whole Linux community on the Toasty Bros. And I really appreciate it a ton. Another thing I didn't install was VLC Media Player, which fixed all my playback issues because VLC is the best media player, even on Windows. It's still a very awesome media player. Really, really recommend VLC. I did install Firefox. Firefox is an awesome web browser. I like Firefox a lot better than Chromium. Uh, I was using it a lot more and I still like it a lot on Linux. It really does work a lot better. I also installed a few tweaks, which were a battery optimizer, which actually fixed my battery issue on the laptop. It gave it like a good 45 to an hour-ish more battery life, which is actually really awesome. And by doing that, I was allowed to use my laptop a lot more and I'm running on battery now while recording this video because before I was having to be tethered to my charger, which really is very annoying when you're trying to work on something and you can't go out and do something. But using this laptop day to day has been really good. Another thing that I was going to install but I never got around to installing it because of the time frame of this video was I was going to be installing a Word Suite, which basically using the free open source uh, Microsoft Word Suite, which really is a Microsoft, it's like it's a ripoff version. Uh, really awesome things. There's a lot of things I could install. I had some errors with it and had to get used to using Terminal, but most of them just installed seamlessly. Terminal is a very awesome thing to use, and for people getting into Linux, I highly, highly recommend you learn Terminal. Now, I know this is very dummy talk to all of you who do know Linux, but this is something I want to get across to people who might be interested in trying versions of Linux. Elementary OS is a very good version to try out, but you have to understand that there is a learning curve when coming to learn the terminal file directories and everything like that, because when you go into the file directory, if I go over here and go to files, everything's not laid out the same way. You don't have program files. You don't have this. You don't have that. There's a lot of different things with the file system. There's bin, there's boot. All these different things is so much different in Windows and you have to learn that if you want to get used to this operating system. Just something I definitely recommend you try out. Uh, everything is working pretty good. I have everything a lot more organized on here. I have my bookmarks saved on Firefox, so that's not really an issue at all. Uh, terminal works. Everything works pretty well. As far as using the OS day-to-day, -day, 
I have noticed that there is some hiccups with it. It's very fluid compared to Windows on this laptop. Windows seem to stutter a little bit on this laptop, but having an OS like Linux now, especially the lightweight one like elementary OS, really does make a benefit when actually using it day in, day out. There's not as many stutters. There are a couple stutters, but it's really not that substantial. But overall, I do like elementary OS. I really do. And normally for these series, I'm gonna do three videos, but really there's not that much else I can do with this OS. There are a couple things I could install. And if you think there is something that I'm definitely missing out, comment down below. But really this OS is built for simplicity and easy use for the user and I pretty much have everything I need for basic tasks, web browsing, playing light titles on Steam and everything else. There's really not much else I need. I could try video editing software, but I was planning on trying that in another version of Linux. But if you think there's anything else I missed over, please comment down below and I'll probably make a third part. But if not, I'm pretty much gonna rate this Linux distro. From my personal experience, I rate this Linux distro a seven and a half out of 10. Now that rating probably means nothing to you all, but it's just for my personal use to try to rate the system on what I think it is. But so seven and a half out of 10 basically means to me it's a very clean operating system. I like the way it looks. Um, it does very well, it functions, everything works properly, but I just think there's a little bit of quirks that needs to work out. And I believe that elementary OS should address this. So if you like this video, please sure to leave a like down below. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike down below and comment what your suggestions are for the next Linux distro that I try out. And if you think I should try something else on elementary OS before I switch to another OS. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Peace.